and KM4YB here. I have to give you a video of the current station that I'm set up here. I moved QSY from Largo to Hudson, Florida, about 30 miles away. Won't get into the details why, but I just want to make a video. And this is my personal key here. This is a, a key that uh, it's a one-off. It's uh, nine inches long, three-quarter inch thick plate, and it combines two keys. It combines my bugs that I've been making. This is an adaption of the 245 model, uh, single lever SL245, and the single lever electronic key, all on one base plate with its own, own individual terminals. And it's not a model that I'm going to be promoting or even listing on my page. It's something if somebody has an interest in having something like this, surely I will make it. But it's going to be around the $400 range. Um, one thing about it is very heavy. It's over five pounds, and uh, it, it's just you cannot move this, especially when it's a right angle setup. And also, I want to show some of the equipment, my station, current station. I have three rigs, but I. I tend to use the ICOM 7300 uh, just because I'm very familiar with the radio. Uh, I don't use a microphone with my rigs, so it's all CW. And I, I'm very happy with the ICOM. I had a uh, 751 Alpha about 30 years ago and I was quite happy with the ICOM product then. And uh, it's a great rig. Uh, I also have a Kenwood 590, which I believe it has a better receive on it, and I also have a Yaesu uh, DX10, which I haven't been able to spend much time with it, and I might be able uh, to let that go to somebody who, because I just never use the rig. So I operate both keys at the same time. I can go switch back and forth, and what makes that possible is this uh, Palstar CW50A key here. I have it set up for straight key for the bug and then single lever or paddles and it does both at the same time. I could uh, demonstrate this here. And then if I need to go let's say SKCC exchange while I'm doing this, I could go quick. And I can instantaneously change the speed on both keys. This has a speed control on top uh, right here. I could change the speed of it, or I could change course the weights of the, of the key. And this is what I've been operating for the last month, and I've been enjoying it. And I want to show you how I'm doing this. I'm in a HOA uh, 55 and older park with a lot of restrictions. And, of course, at first I was wondering how am I going to get an antenna up with that. And I'm going to show you uh, what I've been using. Here, right out in front of the, uh, of the home, is a MFJ 1600 series mobile whip. And I have about 10 radials, about six foot long, embedded in the rock. And you can see there's a flower pot covering the rod. And they haven't said anything about it uh, at all. They have not mentioned that the, you know, I'm out of restriction. And uh, and I've been actually enjoying operating. I work some DX on 20 Israel, Sweden, France, whatnot on the 20 meter. So I have a collection of. The whips here, when I change bands, I go ahead and change the whips to I have 30, 40, 20, and then I made up a whip for 10 meters right here. Uh, 10 meter whip is just a straight whip out with no coil, and I worked 10 meters pretty well uh, with this setup, and I'm happy with it for what I have to work with. I mean, come on, focus, focus, focus. Okay, there we go. So there is a setup. And uh, again, also uh, toying with the idea with this, the standard uh, SL245 and the 225 series keys. They come with a half inch plate. For an upgrade for about $30, I can make uh, those keys with a three quarter inch thick plate to make it heavier. Also, it elevates 
the uh, key up for your hand position. By the way, any key of mine, you can actually take the feet off and stack in uh, spacers if you want to raise the key up. Um, you can get longer screws. I use 832 stainless screws. Carbon steel will work, and you can find that at any hardware store, Ace, whatnot. And you can actually put spacers to raise the key up. There's a tip if you uh, want to consider doing that. It's easy to do with my keys. It's uh, four point rather than the old three point. So I hope you're enjoying your afternoon Sunday here in Hudson. It's around 84 degrees. It's soon to get hot, and uh, I've been enjoying operating this way. Well, for the last two, three, four months. I'm now uh, semi-retired. I have uh, hung up the 40-hour work week, and I'm now uh, devoted to making keys. So they'll be coming out a little bit faster when you order. And so hopefully I get to hear from you and inquire. So 73 KN4YB.